We now want to find the slope and y-intercept from the equation of a line. Now the slope-intercept form of the equation is extremely useful to gain important information about our line. y equals mx plus b is the form that it takes, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept. We'll write 0b is the point that's on the line. If our equation is not in this form, changing to this form allows us to easily determine both its slope and y-intercept. Let's take a first example. We want to find the slope and y-intercept of the linear equation y equals negative 2x plus 3. I strongly recommend that just above or just below the equation you're working with, you write y equals mx plus b. Please notice m is the number, the coefficient right in front of x. So in this case, the slope m is going to be negative 2. Also notice the thing that's added to the x term is plus b, in this case plus 3. So b has a value of 3. So that means that our graph crosses the point 0, 3, and it has a slope of negative 2. Remember that that means it will be going down. Next, Let's find the slope and y-intercept for the linear equation y equals 4 minus 2 thirds x. You will notice that it's written backwards, so we need to write negative 2 thirds x. And there's no sign in front of the 4, so we assume it's to be positive. So y equals negative 2 thirds x plus b. Once again, y equals mx plus b. The number in front of x, m. The number in front of x here is negative 2 thirds. So our slope, m, is negative 2 thirds. Where does it cross the y-axis? 0, b. So we have 0, 4 will be where it crosses the y-axis. Once again, since the slope is negative, it will be going down. What happens if we have an equation that's not even close to the y equals mx plus b form, like 2x minus 5, y equals 10? What we need to do is solve for y. And as we solve for y, we want to keep the x term first. So the first thing we will do is subtract 2x from both sides. The x's cancel out from the left. We have negative 5y. Don't forget the negative sign. It's easy to forget to do that. Let's put the x term first, negative 2x. And since there's no sign in front of the 10, we'll do a plus 10 here. Now remember, we need to get y by itself, so this is negative 5 times y, so we divide both sides by negative 5. And each term on the right side gets divided by negative 5. So now we have y equals negative 2x over negative 5 is the same as positive 2 fifths x. Plus 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2. So here's our equation, y equals 2 fifths x minus 2. Remember, we have y equals mx plus b. The number in front of x is positive 2 fifths. So the slope, we have 2 fifths. And b, notice we must include the negative. Where does it cross the y-axis? 0, negative 2. Once again, suppose the equation is written in a very foreign form to the slope-intercept, 3x plus 7y minus 10 equals 0. Once again, we want to solve for y. So let's begin by subtracting 3x from both sides. Now please make sure that we're subtracting 3x from the left side of the equal and from the right side. So we now have 7y minus 10 equals negative 3x. Now we want to get rid of the negative 10, so we do that by adding 10 to both sides of the equation. These cancel out, so we're left with 7y equals negative 3x. Term will come first, plus 10. And finally, we want to solve for y by dividing both sides by 7. Each term on the right must get divided by 7, so we have y equals negative 3 sevenths x plus 10 over 7. So if we write y equals mx plus b, m will be our negative 3 sevenths, and b 
will be 0, 10 sevenths where it crosses the y-axis. Lastly, let's see if we can find the slope and y-intercept of an equation of the form 8y plus 24 equals 0. Notice we want to solve for y, so the first thing we need to do is move the 24 to the other side of the equation. So we're left with 8y. This cancels out, equals negative 24. Now we divide both sides of the equation by 8. So our equation is y equals negative 3. Now this doesn't look much like the equation we started with. Notice if we wrote y equals mx plus b. Notice there's no x term here. If there is no x term, that means that m has to equal 0 because 0 times the x term would make it disappear. And where does it cross the y-axis? At 0, negative 3. If you recall, m equal to 0 is a horizontal line passing through 0, negative 3. Also remember that y equal negative 3 is in fact a horizontal line. Remember the shortcut, hey, horizontal as y equals.